In October 1962, the United States of America and Russia was in the ring on the world stage, postured against one another, what would become known as the Cuban Missile Crisis. The confrontation lasted for 13 days and was the first time the world was faced with annihilation. Now, some 60 years later, we are facing a repeat performance, October 2023. Tensions are rapidly rising between Russia and the United States. The other players involve the entire Middle East. China, Japan, and Turkey has thrown their war of words in the ring. These nations are ready and poised to annihilate life as we know it. The clock is ticking down. Nuclear physicist and war analyst seem to think the following countries will not be directly affected by nuclear war. Greenland, South America, Africa, and Australia. Why? Because these countries are neutral in the nuclear arms proliferation. The end of human life when it comes to war has always centered on the United States and Russia, now with the Arab world involved. Canada will suffer nuclear fallout, but not as devastating as the United States will suffer destruction. While this is hopeful and satisfying to know, the surviving countries will experience long-term effect of radiation and a litany of new economic woes. Like in the movie Crimson Tide, God help us all.